Hello, my name is James Bauman, and I'm a Dartmouth 22 majoring in economics, and I'm originally from New York City. Hello, my name is Twani, and I'm a 22 who is majoring in government, and I'm originally from Pippin, South Dakota. I took part in a French language study abroad, which was located in the city of Toulouse in the south of France. During my time in Toulouse, I took French 3, which fulfilled the remainder of my language requirement, in addition to a course on French culture and one on French literature. I chose this specific study abroad because I've been studying French since high school, but I knew that to become truly fluent in the language, I would have to be somewhere where I was truly immersed in the language and had to learn it firsthand. In addition, I welcome the opportunity to experience a new culture and see what it was like to actually live in France for an extended period of time. I lived with a host family, the Coquilles, during my time in Toulouse. They were an amazing family with two daughters and a younger son. Not only did they welcome me into their home, but they also went out of their way to include me in their lives and plan experiences for me. This included things like having meals together every day. Um, they also invited me to large family gatherings on the weekends and to meet other local families. And on top of that, they even planned specific things. One event that really stands out took place during my last few weeks of the program. I had mentioned briefly that I had never been to a rugby game. And that same day, the father of my host family bought us tickets and drove me to watch the local team with him. It was an amazing overall experience, and not only did my French improve, I also got to meet some truly kind and wonderful people and learn what it was like to live in a completely new environment as a local rather than as a tourist. I took part in the Women and Gender Studies Study Abroad program, which was located in Hyderabad, India. And as part of this program, I was living with 12 other Dartmouth students, and I'd only actually known two of those students. So this was a really wonderful experience that allowed me to form new connections with students that I hadn't met before. And being in a new cultural context really forced us to lean on each other and learn to trust one another in a quick but meaningful way. Studying in India was a unique experience because a lot of people don't choose to study abroad in a country like India and I chose to study here for two reasons. First, because I was generally passionate about women's issues and India is a great country to study these issues, especially in relation to how different social policies like quotas in government are affecting women's rights and increased women's workforce participation is affecting um, societal attitudes about women's roles and that was very true within my coursework and just in the general conversations I had with my professors and different students at the University of Hyderabad. I really also got to learn a lot about the diversity within the country because there are so many different cultures and languages spoken within India and Dartmouth really facilitated this through the weekend excursions that we went on. So we visited many parts of India everywhere from Jaipur to Kerala. So that was a rewarding way to um, experience and see the different cultures that exist within a single country. Living in Toulouse honestly felt like a dream. As someone who grew up in New York City, it was incredible getting to see a beautiful new city with a whole different culture, language, and history. It was definitely an adjustment having to rely on a new language, but everyone I met throughout Toulouse was extremely welcoming, and some of the experiences that stood out include exploring some of the hidden streets of Toulouse with friends, interacting with local students my age, and even experiencing some of the exciting nightlife in the new city. Many aspects of the experience felt oddly familiar, and some of my favorite parts of the trip were learning how their lives and my host family were both similar and different to what I experienced growing up. Another experience that was particularly amazing was when I found out that I would have to leave Toulouse one week early because of COVID. While I was really unfortunate, my host family was kind enough to take me out to a final dinner at a famous local restaurant for one final meal. They also insisted that I try all the local cuisines that I hadn't had a chance to eat yet, and I can tell you that both escargot and frog's legs are surprisingly delicious, although liver was personally not for me. I personally feel very lucky that the bulk of my study abroad was early enough to be unaffected by COVID. Unfortunately, towards the end of the trip, it did start to have an impact. And I also am extremely grateful that I was able to experience as much as I did during my time in France before COVID became a real issue. Overall, this study abroad provided me with a great deal of new perspective. As someone who's only lived in two places for an extended period of time in my entire life, which was New York and Dartmouth, um, and definitely never in another country that speaks an entirely different language. It was incredible not only getting to see the new sites and meet new people, but also to become deeply connected with the new culture. On a personal level, I also think that the hospitality that both my host family and everyone that I met throughout my time in Toulouse was something that really resonated with me. And I hope to try and emulate that extremely positive and friendly outlook on life into my own. 
Overall, I'm incredibly grateful for my study abroad experience. And I'm really lucky to have been able to do it before COVID hit. Um, and I know that it wouldn't have been possible without the generous support of donors who enable students like me to depend on financial aid in order to have a Dartmouth experience and experience different programs such as the University of Hyderabad Study Abroad Exchange Program.